Yeah, if you hit that, it's stop. Oh. If you hit that, it's pause. But it is pretty much only goes together one way. It's always sitting down there in a rag. Because this is going on their udder. I just put a dab of bleach in there, maybe an ounce. Brush, soap. Not so big a deal right now, but if it rains a lot and they get muddy, well then they really gotta wash them. Pull this plug out. It's been protecting it. Your vacuum hose. We'll just rinse off the end, get it soft and lubricate it. So that it goes in to this side easily. And what you're feeding them as they milk the center one and they'll get two, two scoops of this so you put about one and a half in there put some in there so that when they come in to be milked that they immediately go there and then there's these beet treads being about half of the beet treads that's sweet stuff Move it back, please. <laughs> well, it's still, when it's nice and wet, you wash the sides of the udder, the udder and the teats in between them. And she's, the flies really get her right up in here. So I'll soften that scab stuff up because we'll treat that later, but I'm going to soften it up a little bit now. Up in there. So you start by getting rid of that first squirt. After they're cleaned with water, inside of this tub are the alcohol wipes. So these are sanitizing wipes. So each teat gets washed again. Cassie's, she, this one's dried up. She's got no milk. She had mastitis last year. Mm -hmm. So you sanitize those. Turn on the vacuum pump. You have to plug it in here. This pink cord. Mm-hmm. Just get plugged in. Mm. So before I hook this up, I'm going to give her some more feed. If she's got a lot, I'm going to give her like three quarters of this. I don't give it all to her because I'm going to give her some more at the end. And she also tends to eat so fast that she sometimes chokes. The milk. I to stop. And then milk out these back ones. If I squeeze this out, watch the milk that comes out. There comes a bunch more milk. Ew. And I go back and forth a few times.
each quarter has got glands that go up in there. Mm -hmm. so you want all that milk to come down because it's working way up here. It takes a minute for this to get all the way down. There's a lot of milk coming out. in there their production slows down. You want them to be empty, completely empty twice a day. So as normal part of milking, this is the iodine dip it goes on each teat so bacteria doesn't go up in there. And then I'm gonna kind of clean that up. Scab. And then the bag bone is going to go over all the scabs to protect them from the flies and antibiotics. They're on the septic rather. Oh, yeah. 
so when I